Do you want to learn how to make a DC voltmeter using a 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor? Then watch this tutorial from start to the very end. Because in this episode you will learn how to read voltages ranging from 0, 0.0 to 445 volt to 25 volt and then how to modify the sensor to read voltages ranging from 0, 0.0 to 445 volt to 319.372 volts or even more let's say 1000 volts. This project can be used for monitoring the solar panels, batteries, AC line voltages and so on. Let's get started. This is the voltage sensor module that we will be using today. This module is capable of measuring the voltages ranging from 0, 0.0 to 445 volt to 25 volts DC. Later in the calculations, I will tell you how to modify the sensor to read higher voltages. But for now, let's talk about the voltages ranging from 0, 0.0 to 445 volt to 25 volts. As you can see on one side we have a block terminal. This is where we connect the voltage and ground wires coming from a battery, solar panel or any other voltage source. The voltage wire is connected with the VCC terminal and the ground is connected with the ground terminal. On the other side we have three male header labeled A's, plus, S and minus. The S pin of the sensor module is connected with the analog pin of the Arduino Uno Omega and the negative pin is connected with the ground of the Arduino while the positive pin is not connected. As in the beginning I said that we can measure DC voltages ranging from 0, 0.0 to 445 volt to 25 volts. Now the question is how we know that the input voltage should be greater than 0, 0.0 to 445 volts. As you know my friends the maximum Arduino analog voltage is 5 volts. And we know that Arduino AVR chip have 10 bit AD analog to digital converter. So 5 divided by 1023 is equal to 0 0.00489 resolution. So 0 0.00489 into 5 equals to 0 0.0 to 445 volts. So the input voltage of this module should be more than 0 0.0 to 445 volts. Let's have a look at the circuit diagram of the voltage sensor. It simply consists of two resistors connected in series which makes a voltage divider circuit. Few days back I uploaded a tutorial on electronics voltage divider circuit basics. Practical use of voltage divider, data sheet and calculation I recommend. You should watch this tutorial for the best understanding. As you can see the resistor values used in the module are 30k and 7.5k. Let's perform calculations for this circuit. Maximum input voltage of this module is 25 volts DC. So Vn is equal to 25 volt. R1 is equal to 30 kilo ohm. R2 is equal to 7.5 kilo ohm. We can find out the output voltage by using the voltage divider formula which is Vout is equal to R2 into Vn divided by R1 plus R2. So Vout is equal to 7.5 into 1000 into 25 divided by 30 kilo ohm plus 7.5 kilo ohm. So V out is equal to 187500 divided by 37500. So we get voltage of 5 volts. If we increase the voltage above 25 volt, the output voltage will increase and so will damage the analog pin of the controller. So with these resistor values, we can monitor voltages up to 25 volts maximum. Now let's find out the current. Using the Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, we can find the current. I is equal to V divided by R. I is equal to 25 divided by 30K plus 7.5K. So I is equal to 25 divided by 37.5K. I is equal to 0 0.000666 amps, which is equal to I is equal to 666 microamps. As the resistors are connected in series, so the same current will flow through both the resistors. As the current is in microamps, it won't heat up the resistors. The voltage wire is connected with VCC terminal and the ground is connected with the ground terminal. I am connecting a 
variable voltage source to monitor different voltages. Connect a spin of the sensor module with a one of the Arduino and minus spin of the voltage sensor with the ground of the Arduino. So now we are done with the interfacing. Now let's start the programming. This is the program written for the voltage sensor. We start with the float correction factor is equal to 0.5, which is used for adjusting the output voltage. If you are satisfied with the output, then leave it as such. Integer analog input is equal to A1, so the voltage sensor is connected with A1 pin of the Arduino Omega. Then we define two variables of the type float, which are V out and V in. Two resistors 30k and 7.5 kilo ohm. Float R1 is equal to 30,000 and float R2 is equal to 7,500. Integer value is equal to zero. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are white setup function and white loop function. White setup function runs only one time when the Arduino or Mega board is powered up. First we start with the white setup function. White means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the inputs. Pin mode analog input is input and serial dot begin 9600 so this instruction is used to begin the serial communication at baud rate 9600 wide loop function this function runs infinite times read the value 8 analog input so value is equal to analog read analog input v out is equal to value multiplied by 5 and then divide by 1023.0 so the input voltage Vn is equal to V out divided by then these are the resistors uh, value the R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So Vn is equal to Vn minus the correction factor. Serial dot print the input V is equal to serial dot print ln Vn and then for this number shows the decimal point and then there is a delay of 500 milliseconds which is equal to half second. So now my friends, as you can see all the components or interface is already explained now it's time to upload the program. So first of all connect Arduino you know with laptop or computer. And before you upload the program first of all make sure that you have selected the right board which is the Arduino you know and the serial board. And now click on the upload. And meanwhile we connect uh, adopter with this source so so now as you can see this module is turned on and now click on the serial monitor and now on the screen you can see we are getting voltage of 5.6 something so let's confirm this so turn on the DMM and let's check the output voltage of this module so which is 5.78 and over there we are getting 5.635. So which is pretty close. Now let's uh, change the voltage. And as you can see on the screen, and now the voltage is 6.8 and now 7. So now let's again from this voltage using DMM 7.53 and for the OV or getting to 7.5156 which is really pretty close and so now this uh, module can be used to monitor the battery voltages like it can be used to monitor those of adopters and so we can monitor any voltage over from range 0 to uh, 25 volts. Um, now I will show you how to modify this module to measure voltages greater than uh, 300 volts. So now let's start that. Now let's perform the calculations in a different style. I have two 221 kilo ohm resistors. When connected in series gives me 442k. Now let's find out if we use a resistor of value 442 kilo ohm in series with this module how much input voltage we can monitor 
this calculation will help you if you want to use the resistor which is already available with you. As we know Vn is equal to Vx is equal to input voltage which is unknown. Rx is equal to 442 kilo ohms. Module voltage is equal to 25 volt and the current is equal to 666 microamps which we calculated. So as we know Rx is equal to Vx minus 25 and divided by 666 microamps. Then performing the calculations and we get a voltage that is 319.372 volts. So if we use a 442 kilo ohm resistor with this module we can increase the input voltage from 25 volts to 319.372 volts so if you want to monitor uh, voltages uh, ranging from 0 to let's say 1500 volts or 2000 volts DC you perform the same calculations just change the value of the resistors Connect these two resistors in series with a module as I don't have a 442 kilo ohm resistor so that's why I'm connecting two 221 kilo ohm resistors. So friends as you can see all the components are interfaced with the Arduino you know this is a DC power supply which gives me voltage greater than 150 volts. Its positive wire is connected with this resistor and the ground wire is connected with the ground of this uh, module and a 10 microfarad capacitor which is 25 volt is connected with this voltage sensor is positively is connected with VCC and uh, the ground is connected with the ground so this is uh, simple and now let's connect the Arduino you know and over here you can see I made a few changes like I changed the correction factor to 15.5 and um, I added these two resistor values as uh, you can see over here I'm using two resistors uh, and each resistor is 221 kilo ohms and over here I'm using these values in ohms so I added these two values and the rest of the program is exactly the same so now let's upload the program so you can see the program is uh, uploaded now let's click on the serial monitor and you can see voltage on the screen which is uh, 159 160 so now let's uh, use a digital multimeter set it on 1000 volts and let's check the output voltage of this module so connect one wire over here and the other one over here and you can see the voltage is 165, 164 and 165 and uh, on the screen we are getting 161, 162 so if we change the correction factor we can get uh, actual uh, values so now even you can modify this sensor module for monitoring even 1500 volts or 2000 DC volts so you have to use the same formulas calculations and use a resistor and uh, use a capacitor to get uh, the stable values so, so if you don't use this capacitor you will get a lot of fluctuated values and you won't be able to uh, read uh, the higher voltages so do use this capacitor I hope you liked today's episode like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.